All right, so before we jump into CSS and really seeing it in action, I wanted to add one more component, one more widget into our application, into our Hello uh, jQuery UI application that we started in our last example. So I'm going to select the date picker. It's, it's really easy to add these stuff in. So let's see how we add one in. So we're starting off, this is what we have. Let's go into our code and just follow through the steps, which are really, really easy. So the first thing I'm going to locate where I want to put it, I want to put it right after my buttons. I'm going to add a few line breaks, really just because I want to quickly be able to separate them easily uh, visually. Probably wouldn't do this in a live real application, but for our sake and purpose, yeah, it's fine. So what I really want to put there is I want to put an input field, a text input field, really. Um, and it's going to be a type of text. And I want to give it an ID as well. So let's give it an ID of date picker. Now, the name itself doesn't really matter. Really, only when you're initiating it, the important it becomes important. It's a good idea to always be consistent. So if you usually use lowercase in your IDs, then stick to lowercases. If you do uppercase, then stick to uppercase. I usually use uppercase, so I do this camel casing. You choose whatever method of, of naming is right for you. Just try to make it descriptive enough. In this case, because there's only one date picker, well, that's probably enough. But if we would create, we were creating a site for a airport company and there's two different air pickers, well, you probably need to figure out a better name than just air picker one and air picker two. You probably would want to call it based on starting and ending or leaving, coming back, and so on and so forth. All right, so let's see it in action. So I've created my input field. It was that easy. Once I've created my input field, it's already going to be on my screen once I refresh it. So we're already there. Now the only thing that's missing is we want to link it with our date picker. Use that moi. Now, the one thing that we need to notice and remind you at this stage is that we are already right now loading in every single element of the CSS and we're loading every single thing in the jQuery UI. So we don't have to modify any 